Have you ever seen this? Even though you shot in high quality 10-bit log or even raw, you get this nasty banding in your final render? Terrible, right? Well, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to fix this problem. Adding grain to your images will reduce or completely remove banding from your renders. The use of grain in this situation is dithering the lines in the gradient, which makes those ugly lines much less uniform, and as a result we have a nicer gradient without apparent banding. Now to be clear, this only really works if your distributor is not going to ruin your final details in your upload. YouTube for example is going to cause banding regardless, and the best you can really do with YouTube is upload a higher resolution image. But even then it doesn't always fix that problem. However, in most cases, adding grain will help. You can add grain with many different programs, but I'll show you quickly how you can do it in DaVinci Resolve. For the example, I'm just going to zoom in on a corner of uh, the recording that I took for this. Now, uh, any banding that might be visible um, is basically due to a gradient that I've accentuated uh, pretty hard right here. And uh, sometimes these gradients in the final render, like when you render it to uh, your 8-bit H.264 render, you end up with these bands even though they weren't there when you saw it in the edit, right? Hopefully you'll be able to see it easier on YouTube and I hope that you've got something to work on while I do this. What we're going to do is, I'll just do it from the beginning here, um, we're just going to go and search for grain in our effects library in DaVinci Resolve and I'll just turn off the node so it doesn't give away the surprise. And we're just going to put it in here. I'm going to change the preset to 35 millimeter. You can use whatever you like, but this is what I tend to use. And I'm going to turn the opacity all the way down. So you should be able to get rid of this banding by pulling up the opacity here on the grain. And eventually you'll see it just melt away. Okay. So all this is doing is dithering these lines. Okay. It is going to take those straight hard edges from the bands that you see and it just dithers them away where there's enough randomness where you're not going to see it, okay? And you will see this in your renders as well. And that's really it. Now, as I said before, this will not deal with banding that is caused by re-encoding from YouTube since the way YouTube re-encodes and shows your footage will likely obliterate fine details anyway, but this will provide a better result for high quality renders for other distribution opportunities. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe, ring the bell, and consider supporting the channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Tony Day. Good luck, and I hope to see you next time.